Yeah, no, yeah, great. Now, so, yeah, no, so, well, I just kind of want to agree with Professor Vendor and what I've been saying to you all along is for the full refund, to be honest with you, because, I mean, according to Dr. or Professor Vendor, nothing can be done, and even if I'm referred up north, I mean, the, there's no chance in it, like, it can be done, but my eyesight will be worse, and I'll be back to square one, and sure it's going to cost you more money. You know, so, I mean, I'm willing to accept the full refund and go from there and be happy with that. Professor Vendor did say that he recommended a full refund and a set of night glasses for myself, which, I know, I'm sure if you were in my same boat, you wouldn't want to be doing that either. But, um, I mean, that's the only way I can think, unless, like, what are you thinking? I mean, as you say, there's been an excellent quality or a quantity of visual outcome with respect to the, the treatments. What we're dealing with here is the actual quality of your vision in terms of the, the, the symptoms now. As Professor Venter has, has outlined, potentially one can treat those symptoms or attempt to treat those symptoms, but ultimately we may not achieve the desired outcome and we may also alter your perception as a, as a direct result. Yeah. So having having uh, reviewed everything in, in its entirety, Professor Venter feels it's, it's treatment ultimately isn't in your, your, your best interest. Now, in terms of your request for a, a full refund, ultimately every patient is consented for the procedure, everything is consented for these potential outcomes. So our automatic reaction to the request for a full refund is, is something which we, we would respectfully have to have to decline. Right. Now, I understand obviously you are unhappy with the, with the outcome. We want to, to work with you. We do want to reach some form of, of uh, amicable resolution, but it wouldn't equate to optical stress refunding you the entirety of the, the treatment fee. Well, what do you... What what do you think? What we'd be prepared to consider as a gesture of goodwill would be to refund 50% of the treatment fee. I don't, Dave, I, honestly, I, I don't think I can accept that because, you know, I've been there two years and I've done everything at my own expense. And to be honest with you, I was on to Sasha uh, Pudai about this as well. And I have all the recordings, Dave, as well. And I don't want to take it further. You know, I mean, I just like to appreciate that you know where I'm coming from, that I've been everywhere. And I mean, I, 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 I could get you to send me up to Belfast and it could cost you two, three times what you have to refund me. So, I mean, and for Professor Vendor to say that and me for to have that recording, as well as the Professor Moore to say things about, you know, better uh, laser should have been used, I, I think you're way off the mark there. So you have a recording of Professor Venter confirming that we should refund you the entire opportunity? Yes, and give me the glasses, and I have a recording of Professor Moore telling me that the laser should have been used, a different laser should have been used for my big pupils. And in terms of the recording of Professor Venter, when was that recording taken? Was that their last appointment? On Monday, yeah. Okay. So that was an unusual thing for Professor Venter to say, uh, primarily his, his remits in relation to the, the clinical side of things, as opposed to getting involved in any any uh, treatment cost or, 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 or refund aspects. Well, he obviously emailed you, I know, because it was there in his receptionist was typing up the email as we spoke to each other about it. Um, and as I say, I, I've been on to Sasha, and I know there's car cases there, Dave, and I know you do as well, so I have been doing my research into it, and listen, I don't want to badmount the company. I'm happy I got the eye surgery done, but I'm just not happy with the aftercare and the outcome of it. Um, and like, I mean, listen, I have to live with this for the rest of my life, and to say 50%, it's just, like, I'd be willing to, you know, sign wherever you need me to sign, just give me the full refund, the records will be deleted, I won't, if you want me to sign the gag in order, because I know you do do them, I'll sign it, I just, just want to finish, I just want it to be done with Optical Express, to be honest with you, like, it's, it's, it's two years of my life that's after been, you know, hounding p- people from your place, and you don't want to be hearing from me, and I don't want to be hearing from you either, so, um, I just, I just think 50% is a bit, like, you know, as I say, after going for my costs and going up to Belfast and taking days off work, like, I, I've actually probably spent about €1,500 Euro with days off work visiting your clinics. You know, so, I mean, that that's as best I can say. I'm an inventor saying a full refund and a set of glasses. I mean, I, I, for him to him being the, the clinical surgeon or whatever he is, I mean, and you're, you know, I'm not being bad in a way that you're, whatever you're, you know, admin worker, for him to say I'm due a full refund, you know, I think we should be following on, on his... His suggestion. Well, what I'll do, I'll take that information. I'll discuss that with Professor Venter, and I'll come back to you soon. Cool, do that then. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, your number's here, Dave. I'm here all the time, so give me a call anytime you need to. Hello, sir. Grand, mate. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you taking the call. Bye, bye.